This is where you would create, edit, or delete any content on your website. If we go to your website real quick here, and you can see under sellers and buyers, there's some standard content that's already on your website. You can edit any of this, you can delete it, you can add more content, you can even add more tabs over to the uh, right here. Now, if you go back to Agent 3000 here, uh, you can see here's the order of the content that underneath sellers. Now, I may want pricing your home to be towards the top of the list. I can go ahead and change that. And now if I go over to the website again here, reload this page, under sellers pricing your home is at the top. Now the second thing you may notice is it says menu item only. Now these don't say menu item only. What menu item only is, is it gives you the ability to create a placeholder, like, you know, so that you can put content underneath it, but if somebody clicks on that, it isn't really a link, so you don't have to add content for that as well. Again, if we go back to the website here, under sellers, I can click, I'm clicking on sellers right now and nothing happens. But if I click on any of the content, I will go to it. Same thing for buyers. Now, over here in the about, I didn't make that a menu item only, so it just went straight to the about page, which I haven't added any content to yet. Um, which leads us into the next step. The first thing you're going to want to do is go in and edit your about page. Now on the right hand side here, we have edit page or delete page, and you'll notice it also says published. We can actually publish or unpublish things if we don't want them to be deleted, but you know, if we unpublish it, it won't show up on the website, but at least then we don't have to delete the content in case we want to add it later. So if we go and click on edit page here, you're going to notice up here it says publish. I could unpublish this by, you know, just clicking right here, saying update. We'll go ahead and update those. Now if I go back, you'll notice that the about page is gone. But in here, like, you know, we still have the about page, which we can go edit again. And this time we're going to go ahead and publish it. Uh, normally you're not going to probably unpublish or publish many things, but, you know, you do have the option there. Uh, something, for an example, might be a page that you might want seasonally um, on your website and then off-season you don't want it on the website. Now this is where the menu item only, with no, you know, like you were going to have no content, if I were to click that, like it would just say about, and then again that would be like the placeholder. In this case we're not going to do that. Um, the menu title is about, page title, page title, meta description, and meta keywords are all for search engine optimization. So. Um, you can go ahead and add that gets way beyond the scope of this tutorial so um, we'll cover SEO in a later tutorial or you might have an SEO uh, person that's already handling your website they'd want to go in and change these for each one of these pages so for right now we'll just leave it about you might put about space your name um, you know realtor that kind of stuff but again you know that would be a whole nother conversation so now in here, you can just type in whatever you want for the about page. And I already have, uh, I already have some text created here that I'm going to go ahead and add. And you know, you might have like a word doc or something you want to copy and paste. And then if I just paste this in here, and then I would have a, uh, you know, my bio. So then I can just say update. Now, if I go back to the website, we reload it. You'll notice, like, you know, because I published it, it's going to show up again here. Here's the about. Now I see all the uh, content that I just typed in. Again, if I go back to this edit here, we're going to cover all these in the other tutorial on, you know, how I'm editing content and inserting photos and, and all this kind of stuff. But for right now, um, you know, I just wanted to show you how to add the text there. So if we close that out, now the other thing we can do is we can go create a new page. You simply click a new page, give it a title, and we'll say uh, we're going to create a page called Local Services that we're going to add all local companies like utility companies, cable companies, that kind of stuff. Uh, page title, I'm going to say Local Services uh, in Southwest Florida. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put Comcast and uh, um, I'm going to put waste management and so on and so forth and again we're going to discuss like how to turn these things into links and um, you know and, and highlight them and, and change the font size and bullet items and everything else but for right now I'm just going to go ahead and say save 
Now, it created a new uh, piece of content on here. You see local services. If I go back to my website, reload this, you'll see local services here. If I click on that, you'll see these. And again, they're not links yet, which will make them into links. But for right now, I just wanted to show you uh, how we can quickly add some content. Now, again, I might want to drag this and drop it. Maybe for some reason, I want to put it underneath buyers. Um, I could just save menu item order there, come back to here, reload this, and there will be local services. So it's very simple to manipulate the content and put it where you want. Now, again, I could unpublish this, but maybe I just want to delete it. If I just want to delete it, you click here. Um, and again, you'll get this message. This can't be undone. Once you delete it, it's gone. That's the benefit of the publish unpublish. It's not gone. And you can always reinstate it on your website later. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here. Now that covers pretty much everything in here for, you know, moving content around. You can edit, you can delete it. Uh, you can create new pages. And in the next video, I'm going to show you all the features when you're editing a page.